Howdy ho neighbor. Welcome back to your favorite show on the internet. So you're interested in the show where I break down an artist discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into the catalog. And in this episode, we will be stepping into the magical world of Open Mike Eagle. Originally hailing from Chicago and now living in Los Angeles, Open Mike Eagle is a pioneer in art rap, but also doubles as a professional comedian. Mike started putting out music with his collective Thirsty Fish in 2007, and eventually would move on to start putting out some of his own projects, the first of which came out in 2010. Mike has a pretty massive library of content, from albums, EPs, and singles. So, to help you out, as always, I'll be suggesting two albums and three individual tracks that I think you should be listening to if you're ready to dive into the comedic realm of Open Mike Eagle. Let's get started with the albums. The first Open Mike Eagle album to check out is his 2017 LP, Brick Body Kid Still Daydream. This album is a surreal experience, full of abstract bizarre instrumentals, mixed with Mike's off-the-wall verses that can range from making you laugh out loud to putting you into a deep depression. The first track to pay attention to is How Could Anybody Feel at Home? The beat on this is lightweight, moving like a calming wave washing up on the shore, all while Mike's vocal cadence perfectly matches the percussion without sounding dull or boring. Next up, Happy Wasteland Day is a sarcastic and actually somewhat humorous look at the current plight of the United States. The instrumental on Happy Wasteland Day is full of surprises, all while working around this fantastic guitar progression as his backbone. This is the first song I heard when I was trying to get into Mike, so I can vouch that it is great for new listeners. Lastly, you should hear 95 Radios featuring Haslow. 95 Radios is the more downcast side of this album, as both Mike and Haslow rap about feeling disconnected from their friends and also feeling pressure to put out material that people would like. The beat is lush, perfectly personifying this track's themes of detachment and fear. All in all, Brick Body Kid Still Daydream is a great introduction to Open Mike Eagle's music, as it shows off many different facets of his art, all while offering some great tracks that everybody can enjoy. The next Open Mike Eagle album to check out is his latest release, anime, trauma, and divorce. As the title might suggest, this record revolves around Mike's divorce from his ex-wife and his coping with this new normal, all while trying to find some good things in life. Things kick off with Death Parade. Immediately, you are treated to a bubbly lo-fi instrumental that could put you into a state of blissful zen. Mike begins this song sounding depressed and defeated, but as the track continues, his confidence begins to come back again, most likely mimicking his real-life reaction to his divorce. After Death Parade, you gotta hear Bucharity featuring Carrie Fo. The beat on this is rather lively, encouraging some light toe tapping and head bobbing. Mike performs some of his most impressive flow to date rapidly running through rhymes with ease, while Carrie's angelic voice serves as the song's hook. Finally, you need to pay attention to WTF is self-care. Mike tries to figure out how to make himself feel better after his divorce, acting more or less like a stream of consciousness on self-care. He does all of this over a reflective beat, while still keeping up his comedic demeanor. Anime Trauma and Divorce is Open Mike Eagle's most cohesive album yet, full of eclectic beats and introspective lyrics. It will serve as a great starting point for new listeners to his discography. And just just like that, we made it to the tracks. The first Open Mic Eagle track to check out is Ziggy Starfish Anxiety Rap featuring Gold Panda, which comes off his 2015 EP, A Special Episode. Ziggy Starfish sees Mike completely smother this bobbing beat that leaves lots of space between each note. The drums ride along, firing off like a malfunctioning rifle, coming in and out with little discretion. The lyrics behind this track see an extraterrestrial being come to Earth for the first time, and is feeling incredibly anxious around the people of this planet. Hence the title's reference to the David Bowie album that shares a similar namesake. Take some time and listen to Ziggy Starfish. Next, you should listen to Microfiche off of his 2018 EP, What Happens When I Try to Relax. The beat reflects the themes of the album's name, as the instrumental is incredibly laid back and relaxing. The bass is lush, and the sampled loop feels like it could put you to sleep. Mike's vocals follow in suit, quietly singing through a slightly fuzzed filter, creating a tranquil experience. Microfiche is definitely worth a listen. Last but not least, give a play to Thirsty Ego Raps from Mike's 2014 album, dark comedy. Mike's vocals are kind of hidden behind the brass-heavy instrumental, bursting at the seams with bellowing bass synths and soaring horns that are sporadically chopped up. The references Mike makes in his lyrics are top tier, each one being a comedic punchline. Thirsty Ego Raps is an energetic track, chock full of unique sonic aspects that you can only find in the uncanny catalog of Open Mike Eagle. This is absolutely a must listen. And just like that, that's all that I have for you on Open Mike Eagle. Make sure to check out the description of this video for all 
all of the albums and tracks that I suggested. Hopefully you enjoy them. If you do, leave some feedback in the comments about some of your favorites that you've heard, or maybe some of your favorite Open Mic Eagle tracks that I did not list. Be sure to subscribe for videos just like this every single Wednesday, along with Forever Spinning on Fridays, which is basically just a video history essay on a classic album. If you have a suggestion for an artist or a band that you would like to see covered on this show, leave it in the comments. I would love to see them. I don't know if I can get to it, but it's always nice to have some fresh new ideas. So until next time, go out into the world, take a nice walk, maybe listen to some open mic eagle while you're at it, wear a damn face mask, it's not that hard, and maybe while you're at it, go frolic in the field or something like that. I don't care. This is your life. You, you make the most of it. And with that, I will see you next time.